120 miles an hour club head speed, ball speed 179. Holy moly, that is in the forest. I have in my hands the world's longest illegal golf ball. So you know it's legit. Bandit Golf says it's maximum distance exceeding the USGA limits of distance and velocity. And we're going to put it to the test today. So they claim to have a unique, special, uh, revolutionary dimple pattern design. And to be honest, I, it looks similar to many other dimple design patterns that I've seen in the past. The problem I have with balls that make this claim is that they are rock hard. It does feel rock hard. So let's first take it on the putting green. So hitting some putts with the Bandit golf balls, I immediately thought we were going to have a rock hard feel. And I'll be honest with you, it did not feel rock hard at all. It felt actually rather soft, more like a chrome soft golf ball. So it had a much more softer feel than I had thought it would have. So wow, that putting was a shocker to me. It felt actually pretty good putting. I liked it. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna chip because to get a little faster swing speed, we can feel the rock hardness and the, how the ball reacts on the short game. Then we're gonna take it and we're gonna hit drivers and see how far using TrackMan technology this goes even compared to the Pro V1X golf ball. And something special at the end, I'm gonna have a Rory, Rory McElroy swing speed person hit some of these so we can get the full distance out of what they call maximum distance. We're talking 125 mile an hour club head swing speed is gonna whack this thing and send it off. See how far we can really get with this bad boy. See what it does on the short game. So short game with Bandit golf balls this is what we're doing. We're hitting little chip shots with Bandit. Then with my Pro V1X side by side, I want to see what type of feel difference there is between the two of them. Then I go a little bit higher shots. Can I get it high? How much spin can I get on it? How much grab does it have when it hits the green? Also, I want to know how does the ball react after its initial bounce? Does it skip forward? Does it have a little backspin still? What is the difference? So after all the short game stuff, Bandit actually performed pretty well. It doesn't have a lot of bite to it, but it has a little check and then a roll. So that's not bad. And I can't really tell a huge difference in feel between Bandit and Pro V1X in terms of club face, off the club face. However, there is a definite difference between how it hits and grabs versus Pro V1X. This has a lot more initial stopping power than Bandit. So that's how it performs right around the green. Let's be honest, the real reason we're here is because we wanna know if this is truly the world's longest golf ball. And hey, who's gonna know if it's illegal anyway? As long as you're not in a tournament and you're just having fun, I'd say go for it. If it's long, if it, if it counts. And so far it's good around the green. So it's not bad around the greens. And we're going to put it to the test to I'm going to hit some range balls. Just kind of get a baseline. We're going to hit bandit. We're going to compare it to pro V one X and see if it's truly getting uh, illegal distance and velocity. Uh, we'll start off with range ball. Trackman is set up. The range is clear. The forest better watch out. Well, not for range ball, but maybe for bandit. Hundred and two, three miles an hour club at speed. Ball speed was 155, and my carry was pretty weak. Last one was 247. Hit it pretty good too. So now let's get the first round with Pro V1X. Mr. Short Game, I'm going to sacrifice these to the range guy. Mm, 
that second one I hit pretty good. Got up to like 157 ball speed and a good carry. So that was good for me. I didn't hit him great though. Now we'll go to Bandit. Here it comes, first ever shot with the driver with the Bandit golf ball, illegal. Is it illegally long? The real question is, is it illegally noticeable? I'm gonna compare it to that second drive I hit with my Pro V. Okay, before I give you my results, I'm going three more Pro V1X. So, are the Bandit golf balls illegally long? Are they longer than Pro V1X? Are they longer than range ball? Well, everything was longer than range ball. However, range ball wasn't that bad. For the price, I'd go with range ball, to be honest with you. <laughs> Bandit did get up to about 160 mile per hour ball speed. So did Pro V1X. So it's, in terms of ball speed, I, there's really no difference. My swing speed was relatively the same. So for swing speed to ball speed ratio, uh, Bandit's not getting you any more pop than a premium golf ball. Might save a couple bucks here, but you're really getting more distance, more control around the greens with Pro V1X versus illegally long. I don't know why it's illegal. It didn't exceed anything, but we still got one more test to see how fast can we get this going. Let's do it. All right, Sky is warming up, and as soon as he gets his club head speed up, uh, it's 117, straight off the camera, straight out of the car. Holy moly. That range ball is gonna fall apart in the air. 120 miles an hour club head speed, 176 ball speed. All right, here we go. Sky with his PGA Tour quality swing speed. According to Bandit, this should exceed world record limits. Give it all you got. Holy cow. 120 mile an hour club speed, ball speed 179. Whew. That thing is traveling. Okay, 119 club head speed, you slow down a mile. See you later, baby. That is in the forest. 121 mile an hour club head speed, 179 ball speed. Holy mackerel. Lower tight draw. 121 mile an hour club head speed, 177 ball speed. Okay, so with that, let's cut one open and see what we got. Cut banded open and see what's inside. I don't even think it said if it was a two piece, three piece, 12 piece, I don't think it said. Well, look at this. It is a thick core and cover, two piece ball, that's it. That's why I would assume you're getting a decent amount of field putting and chipping because of the thick Serlin cover and why you're getting maximum illegal distance with that solid thick core. Why is it illegal? I have absolutely no clue. Actually, I do have a clue. Personally, I think it is a marketing ploy to get people to buy it because they say it's illegal. Makes it a little more attractive sometimes. I don't think it's really illegal. They probably did that on purpose to get people to buy it. Hope you liked the video. Love you guys. See you next time.